Docker is an open source platform which encapsulates applications into highly efficient containers. Many containers can run on a host without interfering with each other. The Community Edition is available for free. Docker Inc. is a commercial organisation which sells Docker Enterprise Edition to organisations which need tools that are fully tested, validated and supported for use in an enterprise setting. You may be familiar with server virtualization from vendors like VMware and Microsoft. It enables the creation of virtual machines. Many virtual machines can run on a single host without interfering with each other. It sounds a bit like Docker containers. But the origin of server virtualization is different to that of containers, and on the inside they're different too. The adoption of server virtualization has been driven by the needs of IT departments to drastically reduce IT infrastructure running costs. Physical servers historically ran a single application to ensure no conflicts occurred between them. Advances in computing power and the development of virtualization means that a single host server can replace many physical servers. Containerization starts with the application. An application does not need an entire dedicated operating system. It can make do with a cut down set of files called bins and libraries. Together, these can be put into a container. The container needs access to a shared operating system plus the Docker software. The operating system is typically Linux, with Microsoft Windows a more recent option. Because containers don't each hold an operating system, they are much smaller than virtual machines, so many more can fit into a single host. A container is much faster to start up, and easier to maintain than a virtual machine, helping developers be more productive. Although virtual machines can easily be moved around between hosts, or even out to the cloud, this is typically under the control of IT departments, and this functionality often comes at a cost. With containers, the developers don't need to ask IT for help. Sharing containers, jointly developing applications and moving them from test to production to the cloud and back is quick and easy. So when comparing containers with virtual machines, it's less to do with what they are and more to do with why. Server virtualization is helping IT departments do more for less. Containerization led by Docker is helping developers do more, faster. Luckily, they can also coexist. Containers can run inside virtual machines, so organizations can benefit from the best of both. Now you have the basics about Docker, I suggest you visit docker.com to learn more.